what you haven't heard about Lightning Network adoption in 2020. Hi, I am Adrian for Bitcoin for Beginners and in this series, What's Up Bitcoin, we take a look at recent news and developments around Bitcoin. This is the first episode of Season 2. Today, let's talk about Lightning Network. The Bitcoin Lightning Network made significant developments throughout 2019, some of which include, but not limited to, the development of Lightning-enabled mobile wallets, launching fiat to Lightning channel swaps, Bitfinex integrating the Lightning protocol into its platform, and the numerous Lightning-enabled games that entered the Lightning Network ecosystem. So what about 2020? Is the Bitcoin Lightning Network moving forward or backward? Well, in this video, we'll take a look at major Lightning-related events from the beginning of the year and the challenges that Lightning developers have had to overcome. We are going to discuss these events in two timeframes, the first and the second quarters of 2020. But first, before we continue, if you enjoy our content, please hit the like button and additionally subscribe to our channel for more of our updates. At the beginning of 2020, River Financial, a San Francisco-based company, announced the integration of Lightning Network into its platform. The integration enables customers to deposit and make withdrawals directly from the platform's wallet. Unlike other companies that aim to serve a majority of the crypto community, River Financial is adopting Bitcoin-centric approach by capitalizing on Lightning technology to serve only Bitcoiners. Another significant event in the Lightning community was the Lightning Torch that continued to move around the world. The Torch, which started one year after the launch of the Lightning Network, was able to reach 40 countries just within four days. For those unfamiliar with the concept of the Lightning Torch, it is basically a movement that aims to educate and showcase the usefulness of Bitcoin's off-chain scaling solutions and was initiated by HODLNode, an anonymous Bitcoiner on Twitter. The Lightning Torch works like this. The same Bitcoin is passed from one user to another, and each time it does, a few Satoshis are added by the new recipient before sending it to the next person. Earlier this year, the Lightning community also saw the launch of encrypted messaging systems on the Lightning network, namely Swings and WhatsApp. The developers of these systems want to establish a censorship-resistant and permissionless means of communication that guarantees complete privacy. An innovative developer succeeded to integrate the Lightning network into his Sheep Tangle, which is an automated sheep feeding donation system. Sheep Tangle started back in 2018 as an inventive method to accept crypto donations. While Bitcoin and other major cryptocurrencies had been integrated into the Tangle, it was still void of Lightning Network support. It was until 2020 that a Lightning wallet was finally integrated into the system and the impact was immediately felt as the number of Lightning Network enabled donations went swiftly up. Within the second quarter of 2020, a group of researchers from two universities, Norway and Luxembourg, identified an attack vector in the Lightning protocol. According to the researchers, attackers could use the vulnerability to de-anonymize transactions sent across the Lightning network within seconds. Additionally, the hack could cost very little, like fractions of a cent, making it very appealing to cybercriminals. A few weeks after the group of researchers reported about the Lightning vulnerability, Matt Corello, co-founder of Blockstream, spotted another potential weakness in the protocol. The issue relates specifically to how users reclaim funds that are held within hash time locked contracts. However, Matt was quick to point out that it wasn't a very important issue because it lends very little profitability to attackers. Fortunately for the Lightning Network, these problems are being identified by genuine developers so that necessary precautions are taken to protect the network. This also shows that Lightning Network developers have to work hard to create a secure protocol to foster the mass adoption of Bitcoin. Vulnerabilities aside, there were also a couple of remarkable events that took place in the second quarter of 2020, such as the integration of Lightning Network into Future.Travel. After learning about the low transaction fees and processing time of the Bitcoin Lightning Network, Future.Travel thought it was time it integrated the off-chain scaling protocol into its platform. This would allow for direct Bitcoin payments via the Lightning Network. The company utilizes a system similar to that of Square Crypto, where Bitcoin payments are converted automatically to fiat, thus helping to avoid the uncertainty brought about by cryptocurrency volatility. Future.Travel is a renowned Asian travel agency based in Vietnam with an interest in fostering blockchain adoption. Chess.com, the most frequently visited website in the world for board games, got Lightning integration. The incorporation was achieved by integrating Chess.com to QuickCoinBet, 
which had already been in support of the Lightning Network with its intuitive user interface. This helps to expose the millions of Chess.com users to the new financial system. A local firm in Africa, Blockspace Technologies Africa Inc., invented a Lightning-enabled Bitcoin node system that uses solar energy. The reasoning behind this move is that many parts of Africa do not have electricity and internet connections. So a system that is dependent on solar energy would help to foster Bitcoin adoption via the Lightning Network and probably other Lightning-based cryptocurrencies in the near future. An innovative cryptocurrency, Ethlinium, which is an open source but centralized form of Ethereum, now operates on the Lightning Network. Ethlinium is basically a hybrid of Ethereum and the Lightning Network. It combines the smart contract capabilities of the Ethereum blockchain and the speed and efficiency of the Lightning Network. Our discussion would be incomplete without a mention of the current Lightning Network statistics. According to 1ml.com, which is one of the most popular Lightning Network statistics providers, the number of active nodes stands at more than 13,000, with almost 38,000 payment channels, giving it a total network capacity of almost $9.2 million. Even though there's no significant increase in the number of channels and nodes compared to the end of last year, it shows that there are people who are committed to ensuring that Lightning Network continues to thrive. The Lightning Network is a new technology and will go through so many ups and downs before mass adoption takes place. Some solutions will work and others will fail. But from every indication, Lightning has made significant progress and the trend is bound to continue. Especially as people discover the benefits of low transaction fees and processing time of the second layer solution. If you enjoyed this video, you can click one of the videos shown here to continue watching. Don't forget to give this video a like, your appreciation supports us a lot. And if you haven't done already, subscribe to our channel and get updated on our new releases. That's about all, see you all next time.